Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to get rid of those ugly looking tan lines that you might have gotten over the summertime. I want to thank Quinn Anya over there at Flickr for letting me use this photo with some pretty strange looking sandal tan lines that we have right here. I'm using this under the Creative Commons license and it is a great photo for being able to show you how to get rid of tan lines. Now the first thing that I did was I went over and I checked out whether or not I could change the hue or maybe change the blending mode and I tried all these different methods and it turns out the easiest one is very quick to use. Let's go ahead and click this visibility icon and as you can see the tan lines aren't completely gone but it has reduced the whiteness of the areas that did not get any sun so let's go ahead and cycle those on and off let me go ahead and show you how I did that I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over to the recycle bin over there in my layers palette now the first thing that we need to do is we need to do a command or a control J if you haven't figured that one out you really need to learn that command or control J now that puts this photo on a new layer so that we can practice with it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Enhance menu. We're going to go to Adjust Lighting and we're going to adjust the shadow and the highlights. Now right off the bat it gets brighter. You're saying, oh no, it's a worse photo now. No, we're going to take this and adjust the slider for the shadows and we're going to adjust that all the way back down there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to darken the highlights and this is where the magic comes in. Do not worry about anywhere except where the missing tan line is right here. So let's go ahead and darken the highlights until it gets really, really dark so that we can paint those back in and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Now, you might end up going all the way over to the right with 100%. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the mid-tone contrast and we're going to get rid of a little bit of the contrast so it kind of blends in a little bit better there. And then when we're happy, we're going to select OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Enhance, we're going to adjust the color, and we're going to adjust the color for skin tone because maybe this is a little bit too red for our taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of these white areas right here, and then I'm going to slide this blush down get rid of some of the redness in there and I'm actually gonna dial up some of the brownness or some of the tanning alright and then when we have that done we're gonna tick the OK box right there and select OK now you're saying this is an awful picture you did not help me at all well now we're gonna do a little bit of magic we're gonna go down into the layers palette and at the bottom right there where the layer mask is we're gonna click on our layer mask and what that's gonna do is it's gonna add a white layer mask to that now what we need to do is first we need to have this to be transparent we need this layer to be transparent and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna fill this white area with black so if you want to go up and you go to edit we can fill the layer and we can fill it with black so let's go down there and we're gonna fill it with black and then you're saying wow they really didn't help me because this is the original picture that I had well here's where the magic comes in let's go over to our foreground and background palettes right there if you haven't done so already hit the D button and what that will do is it'll make the default colors white and black because we're gonna to have to paint with white now once we have white in our foreground if black is in your foreground just hit the X key and it will put the white in the foreground there the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the brush tool which is right here and then we're gonna go over here into the option bar right there and we're gonna click on this brush and we're going to take the spacing and we're going to take that spacing all the way down to 1% and then we're going to make sure that the hardness is set to zero because we want a nice soft brush. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the opacity. You can either slide left or right to be able to get to 5% or you can just click the down arrow and then slide this slider over there. 5 or 6% is a really good um, opacity there then what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the size of the brush just a little bit smaller than the white areas that we want to paint now in the US we can go to the right side of our P key and there are some bracket keys if you are in other countries 
uh, what you need to do is you need to go into your Photoshop and see where those shortcuts are. Now, there's, I guess, a lot of different keyboards out there, so I'm not going to try to name them all. Now what we're going to do is making sure that we are on the mask layer right here, this little black area, we're going to start painting. And what we need to do is we need to just gently paint all along here on the white areas. Now every time you click, it adds a little bit more of the tanned area from that layer that we created. And what we're essentially doing is we're essentially painting those white areas away. So every time you click on your image, it's going to darken up those white areas right in there. So I've almost got this one painted back in. I'm going to scrub over here a little bit more. It's a little bit white. It's a little bit too white there. I'm going to scrub a little bit more over here. Now be careful not to overlap too much. Now we're going to paint a little bit more on this white area. And the reason why we're using such a low opacity is because we want to just bring up those colors a little bit at a time. We don't want to sit there and just paint it and then it won't look very realistic. So just keep painting, just keep adding a little bit more color. As you keep going along, just keep adding just a tiny bit more color into the whiter areas of the missing tan. And then when you're happy with it, we're going to show you what it looks like compared to our original photo. Now, of course, there's still a little bit of tan lines there. But if we go over here to our visibility layer and we turn that layer off, you can see that we've done a lot of changing. We, in fact, we've almost gotten rid of all the white areas right here on the feet. I hope you liked that quick tutorial on how to get rid of those nasty tan lines. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and pass my link on to your friends. Cheers!